Hi everyone, it's Soul Guidance Monday. I apologize, last week I was so busy I didn't get to do this. But uh, <clears throat> tomorrow is a full moon, so it's an important time to talk about tomorrow at 6.05 p.m. is the full moon in Gemini. And you have to recognize when a full moon comes up, the moon actually represents the subconscious and emotions. The sun is all about the ego and um, your consciousness, all right? So when a full moon happens, a lot of people get very emotional. And if it's in the sign of Gemini, it's having to do with the thoughts and how you can create these thoughts that are unnecessary. That happens a lot. We're looking at the end of the year. So you want to look at and evaluate all of your life during this year. You know, evaluate it. Look at where did you allow people to have power that you wonder why did you ever do that? You know, where did you not do what was best for you or honored you? And maybe you could have lived a happier, healthier life because of it. So you want to evaluate those things, but you also want to go back to the new moon wishes that you made and see where the universe is aligning those new wishes with you to see if there's any changes there. Um, again, when the full moon happens, I just suggest people write down things they no longer want to have happen in their life and just be very aware of it. And just know that people are emotional around this time, eight days before the full moon and eight days after, okay? Uh, we have, we're going to do the <clears throat> energy oracle cards again today. It's number 36, second chakra archangel Ariel upright so I love when we go right to the page it says intimacy and creativity the second chakra vibrates in the energy of beautiful angel Ariel she sends a bright orange energy promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort with intimacy when this card appears upright it's urging you to get creative let yourself reach out into unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have a more creative approach. This is also a time when the energies of closeness with others and nurturing yourself can flow more freely. You can now open yourself to the emotional intimacy that you may be that may be coming your way. So nurture yourself and be ready to receive the affection and camaraderie of the resonant sounds around you. It's very good. Uh, affirmation: My second chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. I am creative and self-nurturing, more and more comfortable with the gentle waves of intimacy coming my way. Well, as we evolve into this higher consciousness, we are all evolving to. The truth is revealing itself. No one can hide the truth anymore. What I find is so many people in their existence suppress some of the greatest abilities and talents they had in fear of what other people might think. So now is a great time to just reveal it, allow it to surface, accept yourself. If those people don't accept it, there are other people in the world that will. Just be with those people as opposed to people that are not being kind and supportive and loving no matter who you are. So have a great week. Be kind to yourself and others during this full moon. All right, talk to you next Monday.